Hey everyone, so Golem has just released its official mainnet uh, release for the new implementation of Golem which is called uh, Yagna and today we're just going to guide you through some of these uh, features and for this guide specifically we'll be going through to get you started as a provider on this new implementation of Golem. So the first thing that you need to do is go to handbook.golem network and then look for this becoming a provider section here and then you just need to make sure that you meet the pre prerequisites so Ubuntu 18.04 or 20.04 we also support Mac OS and uh, Windows 10 for requesters So next you'll be going to the installation section. So if you've run previous versions of Yagna before, you'll need to purge the directories using this command here. I've already purged my old directories, so I'm going to jump straight into the installation command, which is this curl command that we can just copy across into our terminal. And this will install Golem. And then it will go into, so we'll show our fancy little startup and it will go into asking our node name. So this is the name just that the network will know us as. So we can just take the randomly generated default by pressing enter. And the next is the subnet. Uh, you should use the default subnet, which is the public beta because we just released the beta, which we are running now. And then you can also select your mainnet Ethereum address, or you can generate a local uh, Ethereum address, which, which, which will be your Golem wallet by pressing enter. So again, we'll just press enter here, and you can also decide on the price that you would like to charge as a provider for tasks. Again, we'll just use the default. There we go. So we've set up as a provider. And now we just need to run. So to run on mainnet, we just go golem sp run. And here we go. So now we're actually running our provider already. If you wanted to run on testnet, you can also do that by using this command. And next, just to check the status of our provider, we will go into a different shell. So we'll keep golem running in this shell here and we'll go into a different tab and run golem sp status. So this will give us some information and what we want to see particularly is that the service is running and that the VM is valid and then you can also check your network. And below that, you can see the amount of GLM that you've collected as a provider for both on-chain, which is Ethereum GLM and CK Sync, which will show up here. And you can also use this address, so this is your wallet that Golem has created for you. You can use this to go into the CK Sync Explorer and type in your address, for example, here. Or if you want to check on chain, you can go to Etherscan and, for example, enter there. I haven't computed any tasks yet, but over a little while, you should see some tasks come through and you'll be able to see that you have some GLM. And next, you can also go on to the provider CLI. So this is not necessarily something you have to do. You're already running your provider and you could uh, theoretically just leave it to run. But if you want to play with some of the settings and understand your provider a bit more, you can go to this section and just read through. But for now, that's everything that we're gonna go through. So thank you so much for watching this uh, walkthrough as starting on mainnet as a provider with a new implementation of Golem. If you have any questions, then please don't hesitate to join uh, chat.golem.network, which is our uh, Discord for the community. So thank you everyone for watching. See you there.